Hey guys, I just want to check something. Give me a minute. Okay, so I am doing this Swift Deck was with the Body Part Two, but I looked at some YouTube videos, guys. And you know, ten, you know, Tendra. Well, yeah, I kind of mess with the hair a bit, but. I'm going to do this with a full tentacle head Jotaro's personality. Slash maybe powers, maybe stand. Please guys, let me know in the comments down below. Because I'm down to doing this, what if. Oh. Anyway. I am going to do this. I think it was Golden Freddy. And this is a new one I've been making. And yeah, doing that. Anyway, that aside, the night night one night shift night guard Henry. Phone's ring. Do do do. Hello. Uh, hello. 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 Uh, welcome to a uh, welcome to Candy's Pizzeria. Did you hear? And also, did you hear about the, the fun, like the, like Freddy's closing that Frasbear's closing down? If so, I didn't really like the pizza there. It tasted it tasted awful, and pizza's actually like terrible to, to be honest. And I didn't even like that place. It's like garbage. I Oh great, my jaw fell down. I'm also watching, I'm also on my, like, I'm playing Xbox right now, guys, so I've been, like, this whole top day I've been playing Minecraft, so, anyway. Okay, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's for your night shift, but, uh, Henry, uh, just make sure none of our chunks are damaged during the night. Excuse me. Otherwise, you, that comes out of your pay. And Henry's like, I don't have to watch these animatronics. It's gonna be just just a piece of cake. And before the guy left, oh oh oh, I almost forgot to tell you, uh, Henry, we got an animatronic from Fast Fazbear's. And Henry's like, wait, really? And Henry's like, yeah. It turns out the that was the last animatronic that was actually scavengeable, and they sold it to us, but it was kind of a bit withered, so. We didn't know what to do with it, but if we make it a stage and have it make repaint it and rebrand it, it could uh, potentially be really useful. And then he's like, "Uh, I wonder what it looks like withered." And the call ends, and that's when Deku activates. <laughs> Deku looks at his hand. It's Golden Freddy's hand. But Deku feels different. He feels stronger. And more powerful. Deku gets out of the room where there's no camera. Like five nice candies. Deku tries to open the door, but it's locked. The night guard switches to the door. Deku kicks it, kicks it open. Making the door fly off. Like, kicks the door and go, hits the ground. Sorry guys, I'm like... Okay, anyway. Today, I don't know why I just said that. Deku's like, where the hell am I? Deku looks around, it's like, it's kind of, it's like a pizzeria place, but... All these fucking cat characters, they look like fucking rip-offs. Deku's like saying, this is animatronic body. Deku wasn't aware of this, he just teleport. well... Oh yeah, he hasn't been to the place yet, but... Deku sees one of the electronics in Sydney in the hallway. And Deku's like, mm, I guess it's one of those nights. Or one of those activities, eh? I'll go on the left. Deku on the left. Henry's like, duh, 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 duh. 
Yes, Henry is shocked by this, but the ca the camera went off because when Henry heard the thump, she didn't hear because Candy's about to jump scare him, but he cl Henry closed the door in time. Deku having to go in the hallway, and the guy looks to his left, and sees a bunny and an arm that's kind of yellow and gold. And the guy's like, Ugh, that's creepy. And Deku, like, looks at the camera. And Deku smashes it. This is like Amatronic Fist. And he's sprinting to the door. Night Henry closes the door. And Ellie and the Night Guard just hears, just hears like, a taunt, a taunt. Like, Dick is punching the door. He is making a few dents on it. But Dick decides to leave. Because, ugh. Stupid night guard. Dick proceeds to leave. I can't remember what year. I'll try to look up my videos, but... Yeah, Dick was, like, decommissioned for... I'm going to say 30 years, I guess. And that's one of the five nights that candies began to be opening up. Because they were just starting out, so, yeah. Anyway. Deku hides in the shadows and begins listening to some of the animatronics in there that are Candy and Cindy He's like hiding in the shadows, listening, and Sunny's like, "Hey, uh, bro, I didn't. We get the we get the left side of the security door." And Kenny's like, "Wait, what? No, I wasn't. I was, I was in front of the thing. I thought you were." She said, "No, I was on the right." And that's when Deku sees to say, "It it was me." All of them look to the darkness, and they just see. And then they just see a bunny without a face and red eyes. Yeah. And you're like, geez, what happened to this guy? He's withered. Deku proceeds to walk up right in front of the two. Deku's taller. And Kenny says, well, what's your name? Newcomer. Deku says, just call me. Because I don't know what to call that good thing yet. He doesn't trust them with his little name. And Candy says, Well, Bonnie, welcome to the crew. We have old. And he says, Well, we have old Candy. I can't I forget, I forget the rest of the animatronics. Uh, the monkey. I'll have to write him down later. I'll write him down. And we have that pink penguin butler fucker. Being built still. And we have Ratty. And yeah. And blank. Yes, I remember his name. That guy looked at Blank. He looks like he's been draw. He's been, someone has been drawing. Little kids been drawing on him for like a few years. Old Candy. That guy knows he has no eyes. Could be useful. That guy look at the monkey. It's pretty. He's pretty fast, so he could, he could become useful. Candy and Sydney, good allies. That guy was thinking this in his like amatronic mind, and he says, "Okay." I have a plan. And Candy's like, shut, nope, I have the plan. And Dickie says, fine, let's hear it. But if it sucks, I'm leaving. They both said, okay, guys. Blank, okay, Blank, since you won't be available on the first night, uh, just... Uh, Blank says, yeah, but I'm not going to participate until, like, the third night. The third night or second night. Candy's like, oh, so it's just me and Candy? Dickie says, hey, don't forget me. Candy says, oh, right, right uh, sorry, Bonnie. 
Kenny and Sydney and Deku uh, begin planning out how to catch the night guard. Deku says, huh. You two go to the doors while I get to the front. They both said, but... Um... Okay, but that won't do anything. He'll shut the door when he see, once he sees you. Deku says, oh, I have my ways. Deku itching to test out his new abilities. Because Deku had a feeling he could teleport like Freddy. Going Freddy. As the night guard sees Deku in the front view view, the front uh, door, he closes it. And the night guard sees the two out of chunks on the left and the right, Caddy and Sydney. He calls just like Henry. He's like, huh, these guys aren't 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 pretty good. And he's like freaking out because he thought these things were dead, or not dead. I mean, this robots. And that, when the guy is looking at his like tablet, he looks dead. He gets off it and he looks. He looks at the thing. At that, he's like, how this? Th how did? How did this? I'm trying to get near. And Deku says, It's me. Deku jumps up in the position where he was sitting in. Gets up. Grabs the night guard's throat. And begins crushing his vocal cords. And you could just hear a... <coughs> and yeah. And Deku just... Let go of the night guard. And put him on a seat. And found his hat that fell off, put it on him, and put his tablet on a table. And Deku opened the three doors, and Deku said, T to Candy and Sydney, like, T you call that? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> you call that hard? That was easy compared to, compared to what my friends and I had to go. To capture the night guard. And Kenny and Sidney like, what friends are you talking about? Deku says, I I I don't want to talk about it. They they decide to back off. Sydney kinda like being the helpful one. Try to I don't know, be nicer to Deku and try to get him into opening up a bit more. Candy's like I respect your wishes, but you better respect me because I'm the boss. God damn it. Sorry. Becky proceeds to go back to the door, go back to the empty room, closes the door. Because Becky knows the time. He told Candy and Sunny it's almost 6 a.m. Both of them were running to the stage. They got to the stage. Becky got to the door. He knows that the door couldn't be. Like, couldn't be put back into place. So Deku grabbed the door's handle and lifted it and slammed it back into place. Deku hurrying to the table that he was on. Deku put was on the put himself on the table and put his hands out where he was, like just a empty shell, and then turns off. And the. Uh, Candy's Pizzeria opened up. And the guy, the night guard, the day, night guard, the day shift, he got up and just decided to go check on the night guard. And when the guy got in there, he was horrified. He saw the new Henry, the night guard, dead. And his neck snapped. Snap, like snapped. Immediately, the pizzeria had to be closed down, and the police had to come into an investigation to whether who got into the pizzeria. Of course, the camera audio was deleted. Why? Because someone messed with the tapes. And I'm, gu I'm guessing you guys already guessed who's messed with the tapes. That's right, it was Deku. Deku was smart enough to cover his tracks. Because he saw the video recordings and he just smashed them because he was a smart one. 
And Deku's and Dek in, in his mind, it's like saying, <laughs> you will never find out. And the guys are like saying, God damn it, whoever, whoever was here made sure there was no evidence. And also, got, had access to the building, but who had access to the building? They both try to think, because the only person was there was, like, Henry. But they slowly tried to, they slowly they didn't want to know who did it. And the police said to the people, like, You'll be back in business in two weeks. Until then, let's hope this. Let's hope this is just the first incident. And the owner says, "Yeah, I really hope so too." It's one a.m. right now. Deku gets up. Deku looks at the schedule. It says. Sorry. Sorry, worker. You will you will not be here for the next two weeks. So, unfortunately, you may you have two week vacation off. Enjoy it. Because this this place is closed for two weeks. Dick is like, huh. Funny. Just killing that guy frightened them so much. They just had to close the pizzeria down for two weeks, huh? Oh man, this is gonna be fun. Deku begins to walk around. He Deku decides to go to blank. Oh my god. Deku walks to blank to the Walks to blank after he gets out of the door and everything. And then he proceeds to ask blank, why are you missing an end? Blank says, well, I can't remember. Deku says, why can't you remember? Blank begins to explain that he was just picking up papers one day. Then he just completely blank blacked out, and he didn't know where he was. Next thing he knew, he was missing a an hand. And over a sudden, children kept coming to him and just writing on him. Nick says, "That's sad." Blank. Blank says, "Yeah. What can you do?" And Dick proceeds to say. So, guessing you and Old Candy were the original animatronics. Candy and Blank are like, no, not really. Roddy and Caddy were. I think he says, who's Roddy and Ca who's who's Roddy and Caddy? Uh, Blank begins to say like, well, they were the, actually the first. I think he says, really? Blank begins to explain that they were actually murdered. By a guy where by a guy in the by clown clown makeup and everything, and he said, uh, "Blank says really, and how did no one catch him?" Blank says, "No one has ever actually caught him." That's the story I know. And Blank just said, uh, just says, mm, "That's sad. I'm surprised he's not caught." And Deku, and Blank says, yeah. Anyway, Blank begins to say, do you know what happened to that, do you know why there's no Niker today? Deku says, oh, you haven't heard? Blank says, no. Uh, the pizzeria is closed for two weeks. Blank says, really? Deku says, yeah, so we get to walk around in the daytime and the nighttime. And, and Blank's like, nice. I can actually talk to old Candy. And Deku's like, yeah. Why is he called Old Candy, by the way? Blank's been to say, well, it sucks she, like, prevent confusion, because you know how Candy, like, is on the stage right now? And Deku's like, yeah. 
Oh, he, oh, Candy's actually the newer version of, can, like, the old Candy. And Dick's like, Re really? And Plank's like, yeah. He's, uh, he's kind of still kind of mad that they took the stage, but it's not their fault. Like, you begin to say, like, wow. So, I'm guessing you guys had a lot of catching up to do. Blank says, yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's go. Blank and Deku being walking together, just talking about what what tactic should they new, use on the other guard. And Blank says, yeah, but I won't be, like, be going on the first night. I'm only down for the second night if he's that much, if he's really good. Deku says, all right, all right. Deku and Blank stop when they meet Old Candy. Old Candy says, hey. Blank hugs Candy like, Can Old Candy, I missed you, buddy. And Old Candy's like, huh, I missed you too, Blank. But, yeah. We really get to say, we really get to, we rarely get to see each other, right? And Deku, and Deku, uh, Blank and Old Candy like, yeah, we really do. Anyway. Deku, Deku said, well, I'll leave you two alone then. And old Cat, Blank's like, yeah, see your kid. And Deku's like, T I'm over like 56 years old in this animatronic body. So I wouldn't be surprised, because De this is Deku's like old body from the old pizzeria. And the souls from that pizzeria already were set free. So Deku's just borrowing this suit. And I'm going to make him have human form. And no, it's not a Billy from Golden Freddy. He's going to have an illusion disc. Anyway. As those two weeks go by, he gets, he gets uh, kind of... Deku and Candy kind of get closer. Not Candy, you mean Sydney. Sydney and Candy... Sydney and Deku kind of get closer. Candy kind of noticing it, because... Candy notices that Dickie kind of likes his, her, his sister. And his sister likes him. And Candy's like, I'm going to give him a little push. First, okay, second, first night, uh, the second night, I'm going to make this, push him into the room together. And lock the door and see what happens. And yes, when the two weeks were up, that's what Candy did, but whatever. Uh, as two weeks go up, it was finally Deku's time to get repaired. But I don't like how he's going to get repaired, so... His, like... This, like, all that's, like, going to get repaired, but his face... His face is going to, like, be, like... You see, like, those, like, curvings right there? Pretend that's going to be, like, all, like, smooth. Yeah, that's all, all going to be smooth. As, let me see. Hmm. Should take care of this form? I don't know. Anyway. And it was like the first day when the the people came back to the pizzeria and like saying like, "Woo! Finally, the investigation's over." But should we get that weather demotronic fixed? Golden said, "Yeah, I fixed it for when we first got in." And the guys like, "Wait, what? When? Uh, since like the last day of the suspension?" And the guys like, "Dude, are you crazy? How long have you been working on them? I've been working on like uh, Bonnie since." Um, probably since the, since it got to, since it was 12 p.m. And the guy's like, oh, so, you're, like, going to sleep? And the guy's like, yeah, see you in the, see you in the morning. Or then the next day, the guy's like, and the guy, and the security guard, his name is John, and John's like, uh, 
I just got this job, but <laughs> it isn't going to be anything compared to my other job. Construction worker. I face a lot of challenges, so whatever. Thank you, proceeds to wonder. Why does he not have a face if he gets, gets fully repaired? And the guy's like, uh, I don't have time to make his face, so whatever, I'll leave. And and that's when Blank and Deggy start having a plan. Hmm. And of course, Blank, Blank talked to Candy about getting those two together. As John first got to the night shift, uh... The first ever chalk that popped up was Deku, right in the camera, and his face is like twisting, like, like all around. And Deku turns on his like red eyes, and John just sees the eyes in the hallway. And he's like, "Oh no!" Deku's running. He stops as he's sliding across the floor. The guy closes the door. As Deku's about to grab the night guard. Deku says. And all you hear is that. Ting. And Deku's like. Huh. Smart guy. He's a bit more quirker than I expected. But whatever. This night should be entertaining. And the guy's like. Tch. I didn't sign up for this, but the pay is good. So it's 3 a.m. Candy and Blank told Deku and Sydney that... Uh, Candy told Sydney that uh, they're, they're going to have a plan in the storage room. But Ca oh, Candy's not in there, because Blank told Candy to go to the spot where Blank was. And, yeah. Candy... Uh, blank, uh, Candy said to, I mean, uh, Candy said to Cindy to stay there, and told Deku to stay, to, and to Blank told Deku to stay right there, and both, and Deku just got into the room, and Cindy's like, uh, so what is this meeting about? Deku's like, meeting? I thought you were calling the meeting. Okay. Cindy said, I thought you were. And they both of them looked at each other at a confusion. And Deku realized, like, oh, you motherfucker. As Deku turns around, Sydney with that smile close, shuts the door. And Blank and, like, Candy, like, high firing, like, yes, now we get to. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, get to have their long time, and Blanky and Candy like, hey, let's go, let's go get the night guard, you know. Both of them like saying, yeah, and that's where I'm gonna end it off. <laughs> I know, cliffhanger.